Mini episode 352 of the FDH Lounge is brought to you by Sportsology, delivering unconventional columns and webcasts about sports, TV, music, movies, and more. Follow them on the web at sportsology.info. The FDH Lounge. You want to schedule your life around it. A long time ago, on a gloomy, wet Cleveland spring night, two men stand alone amidst the late night drizzle. Their voices echo across the vacant station parking lot as they debate the merits of the great American radio show that have been missing for far too long. On that night, an idea was born. That idea became the FDH Lounge. Welcome to the FDH Lounge. Welcome to mini-episode 352 of the FDH Lounge. This is FDH managing partner Rick Morris. First off, apologizing for the brevity of this week's show. In the absence of my usual cohort, Kyle Ross, as we dig into the NFL Week 13 slate. The logistics of this holiday week made coordinating with Kyle impossible, but we plan to be back with him next week, and we do indeed have his picks for this week's slate of games. Last week, I was 6-7-1 and one on all of the games, 2-1 and one on my big three, 0-1, oh on my 1,000-star gold-plated lock of the millennium for NFL Week 12. That brings me to 81, 86, and 9 for all of my picks on the season, 14 and 21 on my big three, and a robust 3, 8, and 1 on my 1,000-star gold-plated lock of the millennium picks. Kyle bounced back as predicted at 3 and 1 with one push, bringing his win-loss total for the year up to 19 and 24. We start, as always, with the Thursday action. A note, as always, that our picks won't be up in time to be digested, so check our Twitter feed at the FDH Lounge every week to find out where we're headed with those. This week, Detroit is laying 6 to Green Bay, up from the opening 5, in the Thanksgiving opener, and I like the Lions going away with Matt Flynn pushed back into action. Dallas is laying 9.5, down from the opening 10 to Oakland, and again I like the home favorite, as this will be a must-win game for the Cowboys, and historically, they only really start to blow those in December. In the nightcap, Baltimore is laying 3, up from the opening 1 to Pittsburgh. I'll make it a trifecta of home favorite picks on the day, betting that the Steelers' recent momentum isn't enough to hold off the defending champions in a game they desperately need. Kyle is going against me here, with Pittsburgh as one of his three recommended picks. Skipping ahead to Sunday, Denver is laying four and a half, up from the opening three at Kansas City, and I like the Broncos in a contest that they need just as badly as the Chiefs after the second half dump last Sunday night. Cleveland is laying seven at home, down from the opening seven and a half to Jacksonville, and I'm all over the road dog here with the wretched Brandon Whedon back behind center for my poor beloved Brownies. Carolina is laying eight at home, down from the opening ten to Tampa Bay, in a game that somehow the public thinks can be covered by the awful Bucks, who have somehow stumbled into three wins in a row. I beg to differ, and like the Panthers to keep the heat on New Orleans in the NFC South. Philadelphia is laying three at home to Arizona, down from the opening three and a half in a game that will test just how serious a playoff contender these Cardinals really are. In this climate, and against this offense, I don't see them covering. Buffalo is laying three at home to Atlanta, down from the opening three and a half, with a line that shows just how undervalued these Falcons are right now. I like them to rise up in this spot, and Kyle agrees, having Atlanta as the second of his three picks. San Francisco is laying nine at home, down from the opening 11 to St. Louis. Rams have been tough in the division the last two years and have punched above their weight with Indianapolis and Chicago this year, so I like them to get the backdoor cover. New England is laying 7.5, down from the opening 9 at Houston. The Texans' defense is a unit you don't want to encounter in a potential letdown spot from last Sunday night, so I like Houston here. San Diego is laying 1.5 at home to Cincinnati in a game that opened as a pick 'em. And following where I believe the smart money is headed this week, I'm on the Chargers. On Sunday night, the New York Giants are laying one at Washington in another game that opened as a pick 'em. This is one that the Giants desperately need, but their pattern in every non Super Bowl year since 2007 has been to unravel down the stretch and blow the ones that they should have. Pegging them as guilty until proven innocent, I'm taking the Redskins. The Monday night game matches the top two teams currently listed. In the FDH Lounge Power Rankings, which can be found at the same place as this show, the FDH Lounge Multimedia Magazine, the FDH Lounge.blogspot.com, as Seattle hosts New Orleans in a possible NFC Championship game preview. The Seahawks are spotting 5.5 down from the opening 6, and going by a gut feeling, the good team's backdoor covers less often than bad ones. I'm going to take Seattle since I strongly believe they will win outright. For my big three picks of the week, 
We start with a game at the field formerly known as the Triple H Metrodome. Minnesota is one of Kyle's famous mistrusted short home favorites, laying a mere point to Chicago in a game that opened as a pick 'em. Take the Bears to steamroll back after a devastating loss to St. Louis. Next up, the New York Jets are laying one and a half at home against Miami in a game that opened as a pick 'em. With Geno Smith continuing to circle the drain, take the fish for another win that shockingly keeps them on the edge of the AFC wildcard race. And for my 1,000-star gold-plated lock of the millennium for NFL Week 13, Indianapolis is laying 4 to Tennessee, with the spot having been fairly stable as of this moment. The Colts were my lock pick two weeks ago at Tennessee in a game that pushed, and I think the second time's the charm, as Indianapolis is about due for the wake-up call that Jim Ursay has been summoning. Interestingly enough, Kyle agrees to having this as his third recommended play, along with Pittsburgh and Atlanta. Again, my other big three picks are Chicago and Miami. We look to be back with Kyle Ross again next week. We hope you are having a great Thanksgiving weekend, and we thank you for tuning in to FDH Lounge mini-episode number 352. As we bring the show to a close, we would like to extend our deepest gratitude to NBC, CBS, ABC, Fox, All Clear Channel affiliates, TNT, TBS, USA, UPN, Deadspin.com, YouTube.com, YTMND.com, MySpace.com, various blogs, Fox News, CNN, CNBC, MSNBC, IamBoard.com, Billboard.com, Google.com, ESPN, ESPN2, ESPN News, ESPN Classic, NBA TV, NFL Network, Sports Time Ohio, Athlon Magazine, Comedy Central, Cartoon Network, The Boomerang Channel, QVC, BET, The Spice Channel, Steno Notebooks, Manwich, Paper Mate Office Supplies, Waitresses, Strippers, Bartenders, Garbage Men, Janitors, Microwave Popcorn, The Writers of The Office, Scrubs, Entourage, My Name is Earl, Oz, Metalocalypse, and The Boondocks, Aquafina, and The Periodic Table of Elements. 